Hey, what's up? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and we're showing you a little speedboat project that we're going to be tackling soon. It's a 16 foot ski boat. Pretty good condition. We're going to do a complete paint job on it. Probably a two or a three tone. Maybe some, uh, some flame graphics on it. I don't know yet. But let's just show you a little bit of the condition of the boat. So if we look at the side of the boat, you could see we have a little seam of cracking over here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use some kitty hair to fix that. All right, it's not bad. It's just because of you know the boat hitting things and over the years cracking. So we're going to use a little a grinder like this, and we're going to to notch it out. Okay, we're going to notch it out, put a little V notch in here, and then go over it. We're going to sand this, this whole area with about 80 grit. Then we're going to fill it in with our kitty hair putty. It's a fiberglass body filler mixture. Uh, that's great for marine stuff and boats and fiberglass stuff uh, because this is fiberglass. And we're going to fill the seam around the whole boat, sand it down, prime it, and get it ready for paint. Okay, so it's just another easy way to fix that. It's a minor problem. This is not a big deal at all. This is common on a lot of boats. It happens over the years. They just, because of the fiberglass, it flexes and it just cracks. So you can see we have some scuff marks. It was painted with like a, a flake type of paint. If you could see that. Uh, the bottom of the hull doesn't look too bad. It just has to all be sanded down. We're going to sand it down, probably paint the bottom like a dark, a dark blue, and then do the top white with some type of red graphics or something like that. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to have to put a windshield on it. And we also have fiberglass repair that we're going to do to the inside floorboard of the boat. So you can see in here, um, the bottom hull of the boat is intact. The bottom is okay. Right? It has a nice ribs in it for cutting the corners at high speed. But we have to do some patching of fiberglass in the floor. So we're just going to clean this area up and lay a new new uh, patch of fiberglass on there one piece over here and also under the seats a little bit what I'm gonna do now is take the seats out the seats were completely redone uh, about five months ago from the previous owner uh, they're really good condition so once we're gonna pull the seats out we're gonna completely gut it out uh, put a new steering wheel controls in it uh, we're, we're getting in an outboard motor for it right now it's gonna be a cool little project I just wanted to make this short video showing you that with auto body and paint, not only can you do your own cars, your own trucks, your little fender repairs, but you can also apply the same strategies to boats, uh, refrigerators, whatever you want to paint, you could do it with automotive finishes. So here's a 16 foot ski boat that we're going to be working on. We're going to make a custom windshield for it also out of plexiglass. And we're going to videotape the entire process, document everything step by step this way. If you have any questions or you want to know how to do your own boat or a little projects similar to this, fiberglass repair, you're going to know exactly how to do it. So no big deal, we're just going to refill it. And then when we're done with that, we're going to put a rubber molding around the whole side of the boat here. This way if it bumps against a piece of wood or... Uh, part of the harbor or anything we have a little bit of cushion so we're going to get a thick piece of rubber molding and put it all around across the front of the boat so it'll look nice As you see you know we have a little bit of cracking there but no big deal we're going to fix that uh, completely paint this project up it's going to look really nice 16 foot ski boat we're going to put a custom windshield on it uh, redo the interior first we're going to repair these holes uh, we're going to lay a sheet of fiberglass on the floorboards here, right there. A couple of cracking. This is the floorboard of the boat, it's not the hull. 
Okay, the hull is in good condition. If we look underneath, the hull is in great condition. Okay, the ribs, we're going to just flip the boat over, sand everything down with about 80 grit, maybe 60 grit, 80 grit, get everything flat, and repaint the bottom of the boat uh, with some good. We're going to be doing a single stage acrylic enamel on this boat, uh, maybe throw a coat of clear on it also. But for the bottom, we're going to use a different type of marine paint so barnacles and stuff don't grow on it. I uh, will tell you all about that more as we advance in the project. So it's going to be a fun project to maybe do some uh, red flames on it, paint it white with red flames, something like that. I haven't really thought about it yet, but it's going to be a cool little boat. So again, it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. If you want to learn how to customize your cars, your trucks, your bikes, motorcycles, anything that you're working on to get a nice professional finish on, this is the place you want to be. So sign up for the newsletter if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the VIP area. Have a great day.